How on earth is everyone doing? I'm Topher Payne, a screenwriter and theater artist, and I just wanted to hop on here and check in. I'm at my desk enjoying a cup of coffee, and I'm also controlling what I can control at this very moment, which is my personal happiness, taking care of my family, and taking care of my extended family, the Atlanta theater community. Which is why I need to take a moment and call out Brian Cloudus for his never-ending stream of personal grievances. Quick recap for the uninitiated. Here in Georgia, Brian was the artistic director of Serenby Playhouse, an outdoor venue best known for their high production values and low standards of human decency. Serenby was eventually forced to suspend operations due to the shocking number of verified reports of racism, sexism, and hazardous working conditions under Brian Cloudus' leadership. I would encourage anyone watching to learn more. You can simply Google Brian Cloudus racist and while away an afternoon on those search results. Brian claimed in a video today that he'd been canceled for the third time. Third time's the charm, he said, and Brian does know a thing or two about charm. What he knows nothing about, sadly, is personal accountability. Brian, if you're watching, and I know you are, you were never canceled. Not even once, let alone three times. You did suffer personal and professional consequences for decisions you made, and much like the results of the presidential election you refused to accept, just because you don't like something doesn't make it a miscarriage of justice. I have watched with bile rising in my throat as you attempt to rebrand yourself by aligning with the party of white grievance recognizing that perhaps at long last you have found your tribe. <laughs> but now you're attempting to absolve yourself of any responsibility for the violence and sedition caused by the misinformation campaign you actively embraced and perpetuated. And that just won't do. So as you sit on your balcony, looking out at the beautiful gulf, taking care of yourself first, Know that here in Atlanta, we do not hate you, and we never did. However, as an industry, as a community based in mutual respect and principles of empathy and compassion, we are so much better off now that you're gone. I would hope that you would consider what sort of person you have to be to inspire that kind of feeling. I know you won't consider that, but it does remain my hope for you. The good news is that you were part of a catalyst for change here in Atlanta, as our colleagues gathered together to have painful and cathartic conversations with our BIPOC colleagues, conversations that were long overdue and necessary in order to assure that someone like you will never be in a position of power here again. You were a big part of that, buddy. I hope that brings you comfort. It's certainly a comfort to us. You take care now. <laughs>